Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Uh, today I'm going to be doing travel news, five exciting facts, July 2021, Europe, part four. So, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's the red and white subscription button and also click the notification bell. I, I upload five times a week on both my travel and my lifestyle channel. Love talking about travel and lifestyle. And um, uh, to a day, um, it's um, a lovely day today. Um, it, it's been really hot um, in the Midlands, um, Colville Midlands, the UK. Also, uh, um, you can join my channel memberships from just as little as 99 pence uh, per month for lots of extra perks. So um, the links are down below in uh, my in the description box. Um, so I'm going to fire away. Now, number one. Um, travel trade gazette.com and um, brand usa europe travel week to return to london in october this uh, year 2021 and um, the four-day event will bring together the us and european travel industries so that's really good news hope it goes as well as possible fingers crossed and um, number two and at uh, the independent uh, travel news live green list is set to be reshuffled as spain and greece tighten restrictions the next uh, traffic light reshuffle is due this thursday tomorrow and holiday makers are hoping uh, for a meaningful expansion of the quarantine free list so again they can only do that um with the fact um that um but basically it's safe to do so and also people that have been also been double jabbed um and um, number three, the Guardian Malta's uh, ban on visitors without two jabs raises fear of tourist restrictions across Europe. The travel um, industry hopes um, the island um, is um, going to... Um, later on um offer uh, people to come in the country and um, i haven't been double jabbed but and um, they hope the travel industry it's just a one-off response to the De uh, delta variants rapid spread across the continent but again um um for malta islands can i can see where malta countries or islands concerned because um they don't want it to get too bad over Mal at malta um and it's also people coming back and um, in the uk again um so i can see why the restrictions are there myself and number four the at Euro News, the travel restrictions in place every in every country in Europe. Many countries have travel restrictions in place in a bid to um, control the sp spread of COVID-19 virus, which um, again is completely understandable. In my opinion, I wouldn't go abroad because number one, the so much many restrictions and um number two um you don't know where uh, for certain that's going to be safe or whether 
um, the UK government uh, decide to do a U-turn and say if it was on the green list it may go on amber or red so it's just the government's ever uh, changing uh, decisions and um, again the list is going to be reviewed um, tomorrow so um, but it can also change so again if you are wanting to go on a holiday abroad in my opinion I would uh, book for next year um, uh, to be on the set uh, to really be on the safe side so um last but not least the independent travel news uh, germany italy and portugal should be added to the green list it says an analysis germany italy and poland are among the countries to be added to the green list um say tomorrow so again nothing's absolutely uh, definite um and even if it is countries are added to the green list it's fine if you've already i would say if you've already booked to go to that country um ages ago say last year um and again you have to travel to the uh, on holiday and you're not going to get a refund for instance then you do have to go um but again i wouldn't just book anything at, at the last minute um in regards to um again countries uh, being removed off the green list and um in in general um tight restrictions in co at countries so um again i would save it until next year if you want to go abroad in my personal opinion so i would like to say thank you for watching tomorrow i've got a a fantastic footage of it looks like the colville by the sea event there's uh, some it's um children playing in the sand and some fair rides um and some like other games trampolines so i'll show you that footage video tomorrow and i would like to say i hope everybody's well and stay safe and bye for now thank you bye